Welcome to our service for Easter 4, Sunday the 25th of April. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope by raising Jesus from the dead. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. So let us now confess our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, we confess we have failed you, as did your first disciples. We ask for your mercy and your help. Our selfishness betrays you. Lord, have mercy. We fail to share the pain of your suffering. Lord, forgive us. We run from those who abuse you. Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. We are afraid of being known to belong to you, Lord. Forgive us. Christ, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A song of praise and thanksgiving. Thanks and praise be to you, almighty God. You justify us through faith and give us peace in our Lord Jesus Christ. Through faith, we are saved by grace. Through him you brought us by faith into this experience of grace in which we live, where we rejoice in the hope of sharing your glory. Through faith, we are saved by grace. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance perseverance, character, and character, hope. Through faith, we are saved by grace. And hope does not disappoint us because you have poured out your love into our hearts by your Holy Spirit. Through faith, we are saved by grace. You show us how much you love us. While we were helpless, Christ died for the ungodly. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Through faith, we are saved by grace. And through faith, we stand in heaven and worship you with angels and archangels, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheepfold. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life, only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. Jesus is very clear when he's talking to his disciples that he is going to be laying down his life. 
Nobody's taking it from him. So when they see him arrested and crucified, hopefully that they would remember this, that this is something that he recognises he needs to do. It's something that's part of the mission that he has here on earth. Yes, they will see him arrested by the religious and political authorities of the day, but Jesus goes willingly to his death as this is part of what he needs to accomplish. It's part of God's master plan. It's what he is doing to bring salvation to his people. Jesus hopes that the disciples will understand and remember this. It is not the great tragedy, but it is a means to the end. Jesus talks as well about being the good shepherd, the shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. The shepherd who owns the sheep will lay down his life for the sheep because he is invested in them. They are his wealth. They are part and parcel of each other. The hired slave will not um, stay and look after his sheep. If danger comes, he will run away because he's not invested in them. It doesn't matter to him. Jesus is saying that he lies his life down willingly and he does so for his sheep and not just the sheep of that pasture, that fold, but for all of us, those of us of different folds, those who've come into the story much later, like each one of us. He lays down his life for us because he loves us, because his life is as invested in ours as ours is in him. So it may be that you feel that you are unworthy of God's love. It may be that you feel that you have sinned and find it difficult to believe that God will forgive you. You may feel unloved, unworthy, but it doesn't matter because Jesus says he does this for you. He lays down his life for his sheep. He is saying, I love you. I love you with all your failings, all your faults. I love you because you are mine and I am yours. You are my wealth. You are my property, my possession. You are part of me. And that's why I love you. When Jesus said to this to his disciples, he hoped that they would remember it after his death, that they would know that this was done for them because of the love he had for them, but the love he has for all of his people. So remember, that when Jesus brought salvation on the cross, when he died, he did it for you, he did it for me, because he loves us. He loves everything about us, and he is invested in us.
The Lord is our shepherd. Knowing his care for us, let us pray. For all who shepherd others, as bishops, as pastors, and for all in their care. For Christians threatened and under attack, and all whose ministry feels demanding. For a greater affection and care, one for another, in the church. The Lord is our good shepherd. There is nothing we shall lack. We pray for all in positions of leadership and influence in our world, that they may use the power for good, for an increase in our concern for one another's well-being across all barriers of race or religion, and for all who are working to build community. The Lord is our Good Shepherd. There is nothing we shall lack. We pray for those who are wandering, lost and aimless, with no idea that any Good Shepherd exists. For those who die, unaware that they are precious and valued, by the God who loved them into being. The Lord is our good shepherd. There is nothing we shall lack. We pray for those who have died to this earthly life, that the good shepherd who understands what it is to die may bring them safely home. The Lord is our good shepherd. There is nothing we shall lack. We pray in thankfulness for your shepherding of us, Father, and own you as our good shepherd, in whom we are kept safe forever. And as our Father taught us, so we pray this day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all whom you love this day and evermore. Amen. <laughs>